hello good morning friends today i came with one topic that is related with interview point of questions these are very very important questions if you go for any type of lt protocol testing exam or uh, interview this is very important questions okay you keep in your mind if you are going to cover this uh, questions or if you have fluent on this questions then 70 to 80% questions will be asked from these topics okay so these are the topics we will go for 3g ppa standards releases means what is the release and uh, what is the release they will ask for release 15 14 16 what is this uh, which uh, uh, topic introduce uh, which technology introduce in the 3g ppa standard as per 3g ppa standard they will ask some basic questions okay to know your uh, basic understanding they will go for lt protocol stack architecture so lt 4g and 5g now if we'll go for interview point of view they are mostly they are considering for 5g topics so at least if you go for uh, go for interview so you have to tell okay lt protocol stacks i have already worked and 5g i have knowledge on these protocols because in india also if you go for india interview also mostly that companies are working for 5g or and vrn technology now they are working okay so always we have to update our 4g 4g with the 5g so always if you go for protocol stacks also we have to go for 5g and lte both same if you go for frame structure a uh, frame structure also it will lte 4g and 5g we have to go for this mib sib mib sib information and what is the information elements between mib sib transmission mode this is very important questions there go what is the transmission mode time, time uh, tm1 tm2 tm3 how ev synchronize in uplink and downlink this is one important question what is the ev category and supporting features okay cpri and e cpri if we we'll go for lte and 5g sa and nsa they are using for cpri if we we'll go for oran features they are using e cpri <coughs> for this cases we have to go for these topics also cpri what is the difference between cpri and e cpri okay lte and 5g attached process are 100% you have to know okay already if you go for my videos i have covered most of the things whatever i have given here i have already covered five cpri and e cpri how to use synchronized transmission mode mib sib and lte frame structure i have already given pss and sss also i have given in that videos in hindi uh, hindi topics i have given so i will try to come out that the english part also with this topics so better if you uh, till now i have not uploaded in english form english form Uh, so once you upload then you can go through it uh, till now uh, till now you can go to hindi parts and you can go for the study what is the dci format cell selection and reselection procedure and what will be criteria we have to go through random access process already i have given contention and non contention based random access process this is also i have covered it handover related question how handover happens what is the handover reason solver reasons we have to go through it what is the handover procedure how handover happens okay so in sa and in sa if you go in s1 handover x2 handover intra handover inter handover they can ask the different questions so we have to go for base uh, all the basic topics as well uh, procedure also we have to go for the handover because this if you go for attached process lt 5g attached sa and S, nsa process if you we'll go for cell selection for 5g or 4g procedures so we have to go for this one random access procedure for 4g and 5g we have to go for it and this is hand handover procedure hark and arc this four five topics 100% they will ask in the interview question interview so i am i am trying to say this topic is very important we have to go through it okay next is what why arc is is a rlc and why not arc why arc is used as a rlc why not arc cf uh, csfb and srvcc call fallback and single radio voice uh, call con- continuity these are the important question uh, remaining you can see, see here this four five questions is uh, still here deployment options sa and sn i think i have already given options one one uh, a three uh, a three b already a, a lot of things i have given about this so this two important topics may mo ca career aggregation i have not given i will come with the career aggregation part architecture i have given 5g architecture topic already i have given we informing just now updated in the previous video if you go for uh, part uh, hindi parts uh, 44 or 45 it will go through the, then i have given my mo and we informing 
own on basics topics already I covered and if you go for a 5G topics I might we will get it or an architecture CDU, DU, CU, DU uh, topics all these things WASHEC already I have covered now in the English also and this QXDM tools I have already QX, Q, Qualcomm live tools QXDM tools I have given some diff, details little bit I have given so if uh, so I am telling you if you go through these videos and uh, go through these videos whatever I have uploaded in Hindi and I, I will try to give you that uh, all these topics in English also